Well, hello again, and we're back to some more Tall Texas Tales. And today we're going to talk about the Lambermont on Grayson Street. It's a bit of a castle-ish thing that's here in San Antonio. It's considered one of the extremely haunted places, kind of like the Black Swan Inn that we talked about the other day. Um, so basically... In the 1900s, a guy by the name of Terrell had this castle commissioned. And um, so he was suffering the effects of syphilis, which happened back then. And um, he decided to end it all and he shot himself in the head. The only problem is he missed so he ended up languishing for about 10 more days before he actually died. Then um, during World War II, when space was a premium, and for those of you who don't know about San Antonio, San Antonio is a huge military hub. There's two Air Force bases. There's a very, very large uh, army base and a whole lot of San Antonio was all about military. So, um, during World War II, the castle, as it was called, was split into turn into um, housing for military families. So one night, this soldier comes home and he finds his wife in bed with another man. Oh. So shoots the guy and he pushes his wife off a third story built off the third floor and she dies. And so... Um, so those are just three of the known ghosts, but when you have a portal like that, I'm sure there's plenty more, but people talk about seeing objects move, hearing heavy footsteps in the hall, children playing, and all odd smells permeating, but you know, granted it's a building from the 1900s, you're going to get an odd smell or two, but um, you know, so it's considered one of the more haunted places in San Antonio, I have been by it, it's a little detapitated, needs a little love, but um, so that's your tall tale for today, so you know, be, be leery of stuff built in the 1900s, probably on a battleground, which is probably why there's paranormal activity, plus, you know, We've got some suicides always you know add a little intrigue but anyways for those of you who'd like to see this is what it it looks like down there on Grayson Street so for those of you who aren't familiar with um sorry I'm throwing you all over the place ah okay are you better now I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't mean to drop you but um for those of you who aren't familiar with Grayson, that's also where our largest flock of bats live. So um, during bat season, you can actually go around Grayson and you can see them flying out. And, and it's bats, it's bat time, and that's usually around twilight. I wish I could get a video of it because it's amazing stuff. But anyways, so that's your tall tale for today. And um, the barking dog is telling me it's time for me to go. So thank you kindly. And as always, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. And uh, feel free to subscribe. And if you like this, even share. So thanks a lot. And we'll see you tomorrow with more hauntings around San Antonio. And remember, I love you. Night.